Hi, Darlene here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And so the process begins. I'm, it will be soon time that I can plant my tomatoes out in the ground. Probably to be safe, I'd say two weeks. I don't see any frost coming in the future, but you never know. According to our frost date, it depends on which town you look at. Our town, for some reason or other, doesn't give a... When you plug in the zip code and the name of the town, doesn't... It either comes to Milton Freewater, which is the closest town, and it said April 2nd, or Pendleton, which is where we do most of our shopping, it said April 20th. Today's the... 18th and Helix which is kind of in between us and Pendleton but kind of out way out in the sticks and I'm not sure what causes it but theirs isn't until the middle of May and I don't that doesn't make sense to me I don't think that they seem like they're further from the mountain instead of closer so I don't know why the difference anywho my tomatoes, uh, yes, my tomatoes need to begin the hardening off process. So that's what's happening today. I've got all of my tomatoes, except for the, I have some that I just started as backups. Those still need to be transplanted into larger pots and aren't near, they're not anywhere close to this big, but put all these out here and they're looking a little ragtaggy but I turned them all around because they were kind of all facing the direction the wind was pushing them so I turned them around so the wind could push them back the other direction it's kind of a cool day it's like almost 60 degrees which really isn't that cool but there's a breeze and it's kind of an off on again off again breeze so that'll that'll help strengthen the strengthen I've got that one tomato that's just bigger than all the rest of them it's aroma I don't know if that makes any difference or not yeah, but anyway these are my tomatoes let's see how many do I have 4 8 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, early cascades and some a couple of brads atomic and a couple of uh, yellow yellow I wanted to say butterfly that's not the right word yellow pear <laughs> and <clears throat> I don't know in the house in the ones that I started I had gotten another packet of seeds from somewhere someone and I started an Abe Lincoln and it's not big enough to to put out here yet. I have a few other things coming up here. Some, I don't know if you can see it and that one shows up better. Asparagus and this one is a stingy nettle and that says it's a dandelion. That one's I think a red poppy. That's a thing off of my tomato. That are not she, strawberry. These are supposed to be yarrows. And this is a, a mint of some kind, I believe. And that's what we're up to today. I won't leave them out all day. I'll bring them back in in a while. And each day a little longer and 
This should help make them stronger. Back in the house, except for a couple of basils and uh, what's this one? Is this a basil also? This yes, that's a basil also, and an Aunt Molly there. The rest of them are peppers. Um, well, they're big enough to put out, but I peppers don't like the cool, so I thought I'll wait on starting to hard, harden off the peppers. And oh my goodness, that one in the back. Let me. Do you see what I see? <laughs> that one has a bud on it. My goodness, not supposed to happen quite yet. <laughs> Wiggle that one around, see if it pollinates. Because I don't have any bees in the house, thankfully. And up here, this is mostly peppers also, except, oh, I got lavender and another basil and some marigold and echinacea. And a couple of moringas. My moringas finally germinated. Finally, finally. And... Over here, I, that's a, obviously a marigold. These are pepper, bell peppers. Uh, up here I've got some, these are the, what I'm going to work on later today, is getting some of these in some bigger pots. These are uh, my backup tomatoes and a few other odds and ends of things. So we'll get those pot, potted up, I believe is the correct expression. Well, that's it for today. I will get my exercise bringing those all back in after a while. So I'll leave them out for an hour or two today. And then a little longer tomorrow and a little longer each day until, until I feel that they're strong enough to maybe leave out on the table and cover up during the night. And once they've survived that, then for a couple of nights, then they will be ready to plant out in the garden. And I am anxious to get them out there so that my garden can start looking like I want it to look like something on my tooth. I'm not sure what it is there. There. Ah! <laughs> that was part of my breakfast. It was a little uh, piece of some kind of herb. <laughs> Y'all should have told me I had something on my tooth, you know. <laughs> well, that's the way it goes. So I will go ahead and sign off for today and let you go. And may the good Lord richly bless you until we meet again. I will watch your videos. If you watch mine, well, I'll watch them whether you watch mine or not, but share so that I get more, more subscribers. I'm, I am under 350 still. Seems like it works, it goes slow. That's okay. We'll see you later. Bye.